Welcome back to another how-to tutorial. Today we're gonna make SS31 nasal spray. So what I have here today, if you wanna follow along, 10 milligrams of SS31. I have sterile saline. This is just sodium chloride, nine milligram per milliliter. If you can't find this, you could substitute this for triple distilled water or distilled water and adding some saline or salt of some kind, right? But you usually you can find these around, so just, you know, ask your pharmacy or if you can find sterile saline. We're gonna need a, I like glass, you know, because I avoid microplastic whenever I can. This is a 20 ml, 0 0.1 ml per spray, nasal sprayer. You can get these off of Amazon. So it fits 20 ml to brim full, which is what we're gonna do and use today. You're gonna need 20 ml or a little bit more like, you know, 25 ml of liquid alcohol swab because good routines regardless if this is not for injection good routines is always good to have stick with it whenever you can to make it a habit i have a 23 gauge one inch needle and then i have a 10 ml syringe you can use whatever type of syringe you want for this whatever tip it's just gonna take you more or less tries. That's why I like it 10 ml so I can get going in two goes. To get started, or I should say the target today is to make it so that one spray, 0.1 ml, equals 50 micrograms because SS31 intranasally is actually quite powerful and people are noticing results down in the five, 50 micrograms range all the way up to 200. Obviously for research purposes, only talk to your doctor you know to figure out if this is right for you this is just strictly educational 10 milligrams of ss31 like i said we're gonna start by uncapping this and then i'm just gonna swipe it to make it ready so what i like to do with everything new right this i have this my own term and i call it production dust so i like to just take a little little amount to get it in there to get away that potential production dust or stuff we don't want in the bottle right so i swirl it around and then i pump it to make sure that i get some don't want to pump it in the camera but i'm just gonna do a couple of pumps in there then i'm gonna cap it again i'm gonna remove the excess liquid just shake it to make sure it's empty again i don't know if it shows up but yeah i emptied it out then i'm just gonna put it loosely on here put it on the side first of all we're gonna reconstitute the peptide so like i said end destination is 20 is 20 ml into the nasal spray all right so first of all i'm gonna enter the needle into this and i'm gonna draw out 10 ml i'm just gonna get the bubbles out to make it exactly 10, 10 ml so i have accuracy on how much we are using this is not important but i'm gonna put like 2 ml into the peptide just to reconstitute it right so i'm just gonna press 2 ml and then I'm gonna leave that to dissolve. And then I have the remaining eight mLs, right? I'm gonna put that into the nasal sprayer, like so. I'm gonna put the top just so it doesn't touch anything. And I have sterilized this whole area just to be on the safe side again. And then I'm gonna do another 10 mLs. Because remember, total we want it 20. So we know that the final dosage is 50 micrograms per spray. Like so, it's 10 mLs. Then I'm gonna add that 10, 10 ml into the nasal spray out. And then I'm just gonna wait for the peptide to fully dissolve. So as you can see, it's already pretty much fully dissolved. Just make sure when you buy it, you buy a 20 ml nasal sprayer and also get one in glass. Before I go into this vial, I'm just gonna add some air just so it's easier to draw it out. So I'm gonna insert the air, and then I'm gonna draw it all the way out. Put it up straight, make sure that I get it, get everything all the way out from the vial. You can see now the peptide vial is completely empty. This is my SS31 mixed, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the sprayer. Like so, and then I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna cap it. Now you have a SS31 nasal sprayer that is ready to go. Store it in the fridge. Each spray is going to be 50 micrograms. Always start low and go slow to figure out what's your dosage. But that's all there is to it. And now you have made your very own SS31 nasal sprayer. Hope that helped. See you all next one.